Are you short of breath from COVID-19, pneumonia, or ARDS? No access to a ventilator? Here's some DIY automatic rescue breathing masks you can make in seconds. My name is Albert Donne, and this is a public service announcement of Donne Detoxicology. Standard manual rescue breathing masks require trained assistance. DIY is not an option. Donne's automatic rescue breathing masks you can use on yourself. The easiest is just to put on a clean t-shirt with a round collar. Lie on your back and tilt your chin towards your chest. Pull the collar up over your nose so it's tight against your cheeks and breathe naturally under the shirt for as long as you can tolerate, from 1 to 30 minutes per hour and repeat as needed. Remove the shirt when done and wash before wearing again. How does this boost breathing? The last of your exhaled breath contains about 100 times more carbon dioxide than outside air, 4% versus 0.04. Rebreathing the CO2 triggers a carotid chemoreceptor reflex to exhale more. It boosts breathing volume per minute with no conscious effort. Doctors have been using devices that mix 3 to 7% CO2 with air or oxygen to boost breathing since the 1920s. And the US FDA approved the latest CO2 therapy device in 2019, but the ClearMate costs $15,000 and only hospitals can use it. Rebreathing exhaled CO2 also quickly calms anxiety. It moves more oxygen from blood into organs, and it speeds detox and recovery after anesthesia and poisoning by alcohol, opiates, or carbon monoxide. What if you don't want to stretch your t-shirts or don't have any? There are lots of other ways to make automatic rescue breathing masks. One with clean hands, just cup them together tightly over your nose and mouth. With a clean paper cup, cut a quarter size hole in the bottom and a short notch in the rim so the large end fits snugly over your nose and mouth. Then just lie down on your back and hold the cup tight against your face or wear a surgical mask over top to prevent the spread of infection. Or in hospitals and ambulances, you can use any suitably sized anesthesia mask, rescue breathing mask, or CPR mask. Just disconnect the mask from the other parts and insert a six inch tube in the mask hole. Or you can try making one of many devices invented since 1843 to boost breathing, whose U.S. patents have long since expired. For your safety when doing rebreathing, lie on your back as you may get dizzy, which may lead to passing out. And if you do start to get dizzy or feel worse, stop immediately and before trying again, improve airflow. If using a t-shirt, switch to one made of light cotton. Cup tans, loosen your grip. A paper cup, make the hole larger. And a mask with tubing, cut the tube shorter. If your chest muscles tighten or get sore, reduce your rebreathing time. Evidence of positive effects from rebreathing can be found in a collection of peer-reviewed papers from PubMed posted at tinyurl.com forward slash rebreathing and in a study of Donne's modified CPR mask done at Johns Hopkins Sleep Disorder Center in 2016 that found the addition of a six inch tube boosted breathing 40% within 10 minutes. It's posted at osf.io slash r748f. Some humans, cats, dogs, and other mammals also prefer to sleep in a rebreathing position. But before you try rebreathing, consider this disclaimer. Any use you make of this information is at your own risk. It was written by a toxicologist for educational purposes only. It's not intended as a substitute for the medical advice of a physician. And if you're having a medical emergency in North America, call 911. Outside North America, call 112. Donne Detoxicology LLC and Albert Donne make no guarantees or promises about the fitness of the masks and methods shown here for any purpose and are not responsible for any outcomes. They're also not responsible for any errors or omissions in this information, nor for any changes introduced in translations or adaptations made under Creative Commons license 
b y n c s a four point zero.